Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com, and in this video, I'm changing it up a little bit, doing something a little different, and that is, I'm going to give you my reaction, my take on a VW restoration that was performed a couple years ago by Volkswagen of Mexico. They restored a 1967 Beetle uh, for its original owner, and uh, she's owned the car for over 50 years, of course, and uh, a little Annie got a full top to bottom body off restoration, and she's owned the car since. She's grown old with it. The car has got so much character to it to, to, to start off. And 67 is a special year. Everybody loves 67, or at least most people love 67. It's a wonderful year. It's the one year only car. And uh, we're going to watch this video. And I'm going to see um, what you guys think. I want you to leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm going to give you my reaction to what I think this restoration, um, what it was all about, and what it, you know, what I think they should have done or should not have done. So I'll get you that. Uh, but before we do, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I'll be bringing you VW videos like this each and every week. And uh, if you like this kind of content, guys, leave it in the comment section below. I'm getting some good response with the uh, Show Us Your Dub uh, uh, video that I just put out with Doug Barber with the uh, 1964 Sea Blue Beetle. And we need more stories like this, guys, for it to continue on. So uh, please be sure to like and subscribe so that keeps supporting this channel for I can keep putting this content out there. Uh, so before we get going, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, to everybody. It's right before uh, Christmas. And um, this is a special little treat for you guys. So, all right, here we go. So I'm going to share my screen here. Minimize that. Look at my beautiful 61. <laughs> Uh, before we get going, guys, oh, a couple weeks ago, I put out that I have my, uh, my um, four-piece floor mat set, my carpeted floor mat set. If you see that here, I have a video on that. And now I have the different colors. I got the salt and pepper, I got the gray, and I got gray beige. So here are the three colors. And take your pick, guys. Again, this is an inexpensive kit, someone who's on a budget. And it's rubber-backed, so it's not going to slide on the floors. It's not going to scratch anything. Um, it's some great material. It's got a rib construction to it. It traps some moisture. It's good. It's got some recessed channels. It's durable, uh, non-skid rubber backing, and it's got a low profile design. So it's not going to get in the way of anything. And now I offer the three different colors. Guys, introductory pr uh, price, $39.99. And that's only going to last until December 31st, 2021. The price is going up on this. Uh, I have been selling these almost selling out on a daily basis. <laughs> Ever since I put the video up, these things have been selling. So very, very cool, guys. I thank you for the support. So, all right. So let's get going here. So here's the 67. And as you can see, you know, right off the bat, it's one, it's an original piece. Maybe the wheels are off just a bit. Let me see if I can make this just a little bit bigger for you guys. Okay. And this is the original owner. She's been driving this car for, geez, since 67. And I feel for this woman. I mean, she's, she's gone through, you know, different battles with uh, cancer and such. And it's, she's really got a remarkable story with this car. And 67, you know, again, is those one-year features. And it's got, she's got the right bumper with the towel bars that swoop where they're supposed to. Uh, like I said, the rims are off. I mean, look at this hubcap. <laughs> so, um so she has some chromies on there to begin with. And uh, yeah, it's just classic 67. And she, how she got picked, I don't know the true story to this and how she got picked for this car to be restored for her. Um, but what a great candidate. These are the stories uh, that we, we love to hear, especially people in the VW community, uh, especially someone like me. I mean, we're doing a restoration similar to this right now for somebody that um, you know, if you go to my website and you go see uh, Landon's 1958 uh, VW that we're working on right now, it's in uh, Glacier Blue. Uh, his grandfather owned the car since 58. So the car has been in the family since 58. Those are the special stories, guys. So head over to my website and go to the build a bug section. And you'll see Landon's car there. Uh, but yeah, here is her car. And it's just so adorable. <laughs> I mean, she's, you know, this is, that's a, classic classic here you know um i love stories like this this is this is this type of stuff that hits my heart and hits home uh because i love restoring bugs for people 
that are in this situation. And we've done it before in the past where the bug has been in the family since, since it's new. So it's just, it's really, really wonderful to, to be able to do a restoration for somebody. Um, so I'm just going to kind of skip ahead here and show you, you know, right here, she's, she's kissing it goodbye before it goes off to get restored. And I guess it was on its way to the, the, the Mexican plant uh, to do the restoration. I mean, state of the art plant, wonderful, of course. These guys did a really remarkable job of restoring this car. Now, let's get to the point. Yeah, look at, I mean, just, I wish I had a garage like that. <laughs> you know, just a beautiful piece there. Um, they really did something, a, a really just remarkable work. I mean, the, the paint looks great, it looks luscious. They did it right, no question about it. Um, so this is this they're talking about her story here and then this is where they get to they're starting to tear it down and you see what they start doing they do the floor pans they 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 you know remove the body which i found really funny here in this one piece if i pause this right here take a look on the right hand side of the floor pan it looks like the bottom of the heater channel is still stuck to <laughs> the floor so that whole bottom of the channel came right out uh, when the chassis was dropped so pretty, pretty cool there. Um, so yeah, I mean, look, you can see probably, you know, patch panel back here for sure. The battery area is of course, bo uh, is bombed out. And here they're replacing the floors, of course. So everything we do here too, you know, so this is the right, this is, they're doing everything right here. Now this is where I start to see some stuff where I, I again, I don't know what she was asking for, what kind of a restoration, if they even gave her the options or not. If anybody has any info about this, leave them in the comment section below. I would love to hear your reactions. So I'm looking at this right now and I see, you know, the engine, let's take a look at here. You know, the engine is the whole block's painted red, the heads are painted red, um, chrome valve covers, um, you know, I don't mind the manifold here. Okay, uh, stainless steel push rods, uh, tubes, that's fine. Um, I'm all good with that, you know. So it looks like they probably rebuilt it. Maybe they even, they upscaled it a little bit, maybe to a 1641, maybe put a big bore on it. But I like that they went down to a, down to bare metal, of course. That's the way you want to do it. I mean, look at the patch that you see back here on the, on the rail. I can go back there just a second. So this thing has had work done in the past and you know, so most likely her car was repainted through its lifetime at some point. And, you know, a lot of times we come across bugs for sale that say they're the original paint. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you buy in the car site unseen or through the internet and you get it back, you know, you can tell that it's, um, it's been repainted. Uh, so, you know, again, they came across this story that the car was, I believe, all original and, uh, you know, kind of untouched, but you could see there was changes here and there, and there was some uh, work on the car in its past, which is fine. So it looks like they're setting this up on the dolly so they can roll this shell around, and they're doing some great body work, of course. Now, uh, you know, a lot of people always ask, you know, oh, did they use Bondo? And guys, I, I, you know, they're always going to use Bondo in, in classic cars. Um, you know, you could do sheet metal and repair the panels and change things up and, and put all replacements on. But there is always going to be a, at least a skim coat of Bondo on cars to smooth them out. Uh, you know, I have people that will tell me, say, hey, I don't want any Bondo on. You know, when I buy a Beetle, I don't want any Bondo on. And I'm like, well, if it's had a paint job before in the past um, or, or another paint job, there's a good chance there's Bondo on it. You know, uh, it's just the nature of the beast. I mean, you watch any of the major networks where you know these major restoration shops are doing work on old cars they put a they put bondo on guys um i don't want two inches of bondo an inch of bondo no a skim coat yeah i that's cool so at least these guys got a team they probably bang this car out pretty quickly i gotta say now i don't know what's also going on in the trunk here um maybe she's getting some accessories <laughs> uh, electronic accessories but they have some some you know some nutty cutouts here maybe the speaker's going in that's a possibility uh, if anybody knows again comment section below 
I love the work, man. I love the, you know, of course the facility is phenomenal. Um, clean floors. Oh, I love it. <laughs> now we're in the paint booth. So priming this right now, getting it ready for the final coat. Everything looks awesome. I mean, whatever metal work they did, everything looks like they, they did everything right. I love it. Ruby red. Can't go wrong with Ruby red. That 67 that I sold a couple years ago, Ruby red. My God, I still get calls on it today. And that wasn't even a car that I restored. Uh, a good fellow that we know in Connecticut had that car and um, he did a really remarkable job on it. But yeah, Ruby red is, you know, classic bug, classic VW color. Hell yeah, do that. <laughs> Good stuff. So it looks like they probably either probably rebuilt the tranny or maybe they just did a nice paint job on it. I'm not sure. But this is the proper way to do things, guys. You know, when the body is off, things go in a lot easier. Very cool. These guys are doing things, definitely doing this right. Oh, look at that. Now, this is interesting. They, I see like a guard here, like a chip guard kind of um, maybe, you know, it's kind of like a, maybe a layer of plastic or something that they, they, be, they maybe bolted in underneath the, uh, the fender. Or that might be just a protection when they lift the car. Maybe they put a harness underneath there if they're lifting the body off to put it back down on the chassis. I'm not sure about that, but could be a chip guard. I'm not sure. But very cool. I mean, look at the, the paint is just, it's luscious. Nice. Yep. Oh, the notorious glass. <laughs> I still get calls on this, man. Can't get the glass in, the, the rubber seals. Yeah, guys, they've uh, sometimes, you know, you gotta be careful what seals you get for your glass. Again, Brazilian seals are hard. You know, very difficult to get in. Wolfsburg West or West Coast Metric, or if you can get the German seal, get it. Because, um, you know, it's, it's, they go in a lot easier. And you want to bake them out in the sun, get them nice and hot. And we do put some, some WD on them to let them slide into the frame. Look at all this crew here helping to put this car together. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I wish I had that. Very nice. I mean... Wide white walls, of course, are not the right fit for 67. I do like wide white walls. I put them on my 67s before, um, but that would have been more correct for an earlier Beetle. Now, here's, here's where I'm, I'm, I'm getting into question of things. This is an original 67, and 67 was the first year American bound with the straight headlight. Why are we, why the early headlight and fluted? Um, I don't know why they did this. So that means they changed the fenders as well. So again, I don't know if she was in a, in a you know, how to, this is what she wanted, but off the top of my head, I'm thinking, why wasn't the car going back to, you know, an original uh, state? So chrome bumper brackets, which was, they should have been gray or silver. Uh, she got fat tailpipes too. Again, the engine compartment looks, um, customized chromy rims. Um, you know, you would have the two tone rim, of course, slotted. And, uh, you know, again, that's only a two year rim that they used on 66, 67 Beetles. I, you know, again, I'm not sure why they're not going back to the, there's some insulation there. That's cool. I'm all for that. Love the VW logo mask. That's pretty cool. But again, you know, we're, this is not original. This, you know, it would have been, you would have had the black rubber mat uh, on the, the floor and on the tunnel here. So that's the car. And when you look at it, yeah, I mean, you know, it's not her car from when she had it new. You know, you're looking at this thing right now and you're saying, I'm saying to myself, yeah, it looks like a 66. 65, you know, right off the bat, it doesn't look like a 67. Um, beautiful restoration, no doubt about it. Um, and again, it's just my only gripe with the car and the restoration is that it's 
you know, and even this, this is driving me nuts. Um, that air cleaner, God, the dizzy, the belt tensioner, uh, no tarboards. You know, it just, it's not, it's not screaming the 67. It's, and it's, they closed off. It's a, you know, stale air shroud, like a, like a 36 horse fan shroud on there. No fresh air. Um, again, I'm not knocking the, the restorers. The seal is not going all the way up to the top here. The lid seal. What happened to the channel? They didn't weld the rest of the channel up here. You know, little things like that. Um, this is huge for me, though, the engine. I mean, 67 is a very unique looking engine. Uh, it's like it's one year. So, yeah, again, I, I, again, I don't know what the deal was here. I don't know what the what was in the agreement. But overall, beautiful restoration. I mean, hats off to them for doing this. I just don't know. Even the interior, you know, that's definitely a custom interior. I mean, it looks like something, you know, maybe out of SoFine. Um, and I use SoFine a lot, guys. No question about it. We do some customization like this for interiors. Um, you know, but again, I feel like with this type of car that's a one-owner car and original going back to what it, you know, I, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm trying to just say, you know, you, you would think that this would go back to its original state, um, not a customized 67, because this is her history here. But so we just would love to hear your thoughts, what you guys think of this. And, you know, I, I do, I do think the restoration looks phenomenal. Uh, why the footrest is not under the carpet. Um, yeah, that's, that's a good one. I'll check that out. Pedals different colors too, you know, so there's a lot of things you could pick on this. Um, but again, it's, you know, it was their own turn here. Um, but uh, I mean, I would love the car. One knobs black, uh, hard plastic, the other one's rubber. Um, big wide VW logo on the hubcaps. Again, not original to this period. Um, so it looks like they did good with the bumpers at least. The Volkswagen insignia, I guess. Oh, that would, they put that on the front hood. So that was, that was added, I think. Uh, I like the roof rack for sure. It's like that streamlined roof rack that they sell today. That's really cool. Retro radio involved. So, and then she is, they're surprising her. And I wonder what, <laughs> what she was really feeling from behind, you know, when she saw the thing. I mean, she was probably amazed with the restoration, no doubt about it, but I'm just curious to see, you know, I, I wish we, I'd love to get her on my show and talk to her about it. Um, but yeah, she loves it, of course. Yeah. And we've, to be in the midst of that reaction, guys, I've gotten that reaction before in my shop when um, the original owners come and they see the car for the first time and they're completely floored what they see that it was just resurrected, you know, and to, to bring it back to, you know, a glory. It's a wonderful thing. And I'm all for leaving things original if you want, patina. But uh, something like this is, uh, is, is very, very rewarding uh, for someone that wants to go back to their youth and, and see it factory fresh again. So anyways, I don't want to get too long winded with this. I think the restoration was phenomenal. These guys did an amazing job. My only gripe with the restoration is that it was not put back to the way uh, a 67 would, you know, would have actually looked. So um, Love, love to hear your thoughts, guys. Uh, please leave it in the comment section below. And if you want to see more videos like this, leave it in the comment section below. And uh, I, this is changing it up a little bit here for you guys. And I hope you like it. So, all right, guys. Chris from ClassicBWBugs.com. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys maybe next week. I'm not sure. See how I feel. It's a short week. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everybody. And take care. Thank you.